All right, we're here uh, demonstrating TAI's PowerBlock and PowerStage products. Um, these two technologies incorporate uh, TAI's next uh, generation, uh, NextFit MOSFETs, which is a, uh, a source down technology. Now for these two particular products, uh, our PowerBlock and PowerStage, we went beyond just integrating silicon into a package. We re-engineered the silicon itself, it re-engineered the package, and we had a systems perspective in creating the, and developing the product. So it's more than just simply putting two components or three components in a package and trying to uh, deliver a solution. Um, for the power block, what we've done, we've inverted the silicon and made it a source down technology. And that allowed us to do the stacking technique, which is uh, uh, what's giving us the benchmark performance in power block. By stacking the architecture, we get rid of common source inductance, which allows the next set devices to really switch, uh, switch at really high speeds and really minimize switching losses. Um, traditionally, devices that are integrated or just traditional discrete devices are um, plagued with source inductances, which limit the switching speed of the devices. This architecture allows for the uh, most efficient way of switching a power device in a hard switch application. As such, what it does, um, it takes this solution and creates a benchmark that goes beyond simply RDS on. Uh, what we have in this demo is uh, we're demonstrating or we're showing two efficiency curves of our power block and discrete devices that have similar RDS ons, and yet because of the stack die architecture, we have at least two points of performance improvement over a discrete architecture, uh, despite having the same RDS on, which really highlights the fact that uh, switching losses have been greatly improved in this architecture. So when it comes to the power block technology, again, it's more than simply RDS on. It's about what's we've done, what we have done with the technology in terms of integration, in terms of packaging development, and in terms of silicon improvements. Uh, Beyond PowerBlock, we've taken that architecture, we've integrated it into our power stage. And that's basically taking the PowerBlock stack die architecture and putting a driver IC inside and providing what we're calling a power stage solution, which um, provides benchmark uh, performance uh, above any other integrated solution out there that has a, a driver and two MOSFETs. And uh, with the close proximity of the driver IC in the package, it enabled us to get even higher efficiency and faster switching, uh, uh, faster switching speeds with the, with the package. And again, improved efficiency. And we had another, about another quarter point to half point improvement with power of stage over power block. And uh, with the integration of the driver IC in the power stage, that enabled us to go to even higher switching speeds, uh, higher switching frequencies. Uh, with this power stage architecture or platform, we were able to, to demonstrate a two megahertz solution that's uh, you know in a less than one inch by one inch uh, um, area, and yet not compromise efficiency. As a matter of fact, our peak efficiencies are over ninety percent, and our full load efficiencies are uh, you know in the eighty nine percent for a twenty five uh, a twenty a twenty five amp a, a twenty five amp converter running at two megahertz, twelve volts in and 1.8 volts out. So to achieve those level of free, uh, efficiencies at those frequencies shows that the integration of the, uh, of, the, of the silicon and the redesign of the silicon and the redesign of the package is reaping its benefit at the system level. Again, when we, when we design these products, we're thinking of the system in mind, the end system. So it's more than just simply putting components together. So with that, um, you know, we're able to demonstrate the higher frequencies with silicon technology. There's a lot of talk about using alternative materials to switch to the multi-megahertz uh, frequency range. We can do it today with silicon.